Hey guys, and welcome to another Building 101 video. Today is episode 24, and we got an awesome topic submitted from someone on stream or a comment. I'm sorry, I don't remember your name, but if you do comment, I will definitely re remember it right away. Um, but he or she, honestly, again, I don't remember, I'm, I apologize, suggested tight spaces. This is great because I find myself, you know, ha having some spaces in between buildings, under buildings, above buildings buildings I guess just anywhere in Minecraft you'll have some kind of tight space that's empty that might just be some stone part of you know the original terrain but we want to do something with that so I'm gonna have some examples for you we'll apply some of the strategies that I give you and uh, uh, we might do some hands-on stuff so yeah this is a great one uh, I'm gonna have an episode on domes coming out later because I know someone wanted me to do that but right now we're doing tight spaces so I can't wait to do this one once again we are on the vortex server and I have two uh, examples on the server that I want to show you one in between buildings which is right over there and I'll give you a few scenarios that you can apply to, to your you know troubles with tight spaces and one under a building not here but in a different area but first we're gonna go with these two buildings right here so let's say you have a nice town a village whatever mine isn't huge but these houses are close enough to you know to each other where we have a tight space now there's ways of going around this and I took two out of the three ways that I could have done this um, one I could have added a wall which is what I didn't do I could have added a sandstone wall I could have used fence post if they had if I wanted to use acacia fence post or if they had sandstone walls which they should add in but uh, Microsoft bot Mojang who knows maybe I'll never get sandstone walls please I'll buy DLC for that um, so yeah, uh, I uh, th this is the, the second route that I went to fix this tight space is put a cactus. So you can put some cacti around here. And the third route, which is something that you never see, or n at least not a lot, and if you do, it'll be with texture packs and stuff like that. But I made a little storage area, you know, a kind of mess hall. But let's say these are garbage cans, not mess hall, just messy area. Uh, let's say these are garbage cans or just storage crates, whatever. Uh, it's a nice area and it blocks it off, blocks part of the view if you don't really want that. So yeah, you got three things that you can do. In the desert, of course, so uh, sometimes, uh, but it works in all places. I mean, I guess you won't have a cacti. You could just add some too high flowers or whatever, a little tiny garden. There's many things you could do here. So you can have a wall, um, some kind of vegetation, whether whether it's a cactus or a garden, or you can have some kind of storage unit here. So that's a great way of fixing this tight space right here. Pretty cool. Now for our second scenario out of the many could happen. So like I said, we're gonna look at our house that has an underground kind of feature. So I designed the swamp house about a month ago for swamps specifically because you don't wanna have your people walking on the dirty uh, ground water, all that stuff. And you don't want wild shreks to appear when you walk on the tall grass. Speaking of tall grass, I should put some tall grass here. Um, that's another building 101. So you're walking up here, but you really have you know a bunch of swamp land under there, which is fine, and that's cool for the underground, for the under part of the house, which you see there. The torches don't really need to be there. I could hide the glowstone better, but this is a survival world. If we're talking creative, I probably would put glowstone on the ground, so keep that in mind. But there are a few things we can do with this area that's very simple. One, keep the layout of this swamp here. Just, it looks nice under here. You can see it looks pretty cool um, besides the torches. And you can also add leaves on the inside and the outside to cover up some of that ugliness if you don't really like it and all that stuff. So when you go in here, I just did that and oh, looks like it's not gonna let me out. Oh, I know why, because we're in there. So here's what we can do with this area. You can easily just add a flower very simply add some vines because you could see them from the outside I have depth strider on by the way and just add some grass here and there looks nice you don't even need the torches no mobs are going to spawn in survival um, and it makes the place look very very nice gives it a really cool look again add flowers if you want jump through here uh, get fix your stuff like so there we go and you got some nice tall grass in there, hiding some of the wood and making it look nice and grassy. And yeah, that's a really cool look. So you can do that with all types of these kind of houses and anything else that has an under type feature that you can see from the outside. 
And that's another example of a tight space. So let's go on to something different. We are back on the Vortex server again. I thought those were the only two examples, but I got another one for you. So these right here are called terraces. This little wall here. Now this really isn't a tight space, but uh, I'll show you another example that spawn, very tiny one, the same thing. Uh, this one just has wood. I would usually put stone there, but Lars wanted me to put wood, so I did. Um, but this can go really well when you have some kind of landscape, you want to make it steep. You can just put it there, it's a nice and steep wall, and then you can have another path, like right on this level, right here. And I'll go and show you the example of where I did that. So. Terraces are really nice, and I guess you can consider you can consider this a tight space since you want a path a pathway here, and you want something other than the ugly landscape. You can put a wall here. So terraces or just walls along the edges are great. Now it is a little bit difficult because you are working with dirt under it and uh, weird corners and shapes. Like right there, I'd probably put a stone block, but forgot to. Um, so it's a little uh, difficult, but you can manage, and it'll come out with a nice looking shape here. So let's actually go stay in there, Cal, please. You can look at this whole area if you really want to. And yeah, looks nice. So we're going to go to spawn, check out the pathway on top, like where I'm walking here, over at spawn. Here you go. These are my favorite. I, I love building these, especially when they're in water. It looks very nice. So you see we have a nice, a great looking pond here with a lot of variation and a good floor. I don't know why that's, oh, it's the roots for the tree. Um, so it looks nice. This is just, you know, um, a good thing to, to know. I know it's not really a tight space, but you definitely want to decorate your, your floor beds like that. But we're talking about our terrace here. So remember, um, remember, you know, you can have a path up here or a tree. There's one over here with a path. Let's go there now. So you can see that. And then you can even have, if there's more landscape, let's say this is a huge mountain right here, you can cut through it, make it a steep part here, and have another terrace. And it'll look really cool. So this is just one example of a pathway. It could be, you know, about this wide, or it can be really wide, and you can have a nice mountain piece coming out right here. Something like that. Uh, so yeah, that's that's great to have. You see I also had a pond here. Water flowing out of there is great. It, you know, you pack so much stuff into these tight areas here. I know I'm lagging, it's just spawn. Spawn is so much redstone and lag everywhere. Uh, so yeah, you want to try and add as many blocks as you can. So when you're talking about these stone terraces, the blocks that you want to include are smooth stone slabs, andesite, stone brick blocks, uh, some vines depending on where you are, water features, and even light. So yeah, lots of cool stuff. Also, my favorite block in the world, cobblestone walls. So yeah, that's going to be that. Let's go on a creative world and show you something else with a little deck that you can have on the side of your house. Now for our next example. I just whipped up this house right now. I did not finish it for the sake of time. There are mistakes like right here. Maybe not mistakes, but I don't necessarily like them. Um, but you get the picture. It's a house. Actually, that, that doesn't look that bad actually. It kind of looks more like a cottage. But I whipped up the house. Looks nice. Now, uh, firstly, I want you to spot the mistake before you go into the tight spaces, and it is right there. This is the mistake that many, 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 many people make, and I made this because, um, you know, I was just rushing through it. I, I didn't even notice that one, to be honest. But uh, when people um, do trees or something, and they have maybe a tree trunk starting there, or they they just want some kind of tree there and they start there and they don't go all the way down or they don't build a landscape covering it like this you want to continue that down so you get rid of that weird transition between you know a block dirt block dirt no it, it just doesn't work like that so uh yeah that's that's uh cool now what is the tight space area not that but that can work but it's this bridge right here so when when you're dealing with cliffside houses a, n a neat way and a really cool detail to add uh, some patches of grass coming in so it's a gradual change into the bridge or not the bridge the little porch area or just you know overhang have some tall grass it gives a nice effect maybe have some indents in here so for example you can have a stair like that maybe like that if you wish and it looks nice uh, you will have the dip down so if you really don't like that dip down just go like that you're good to go um, and it looks nice. It's a tight space. 
You can even add fence posts here if you really want to. But it looks great from the outside, especially if you add more bone meal. Let's go and add more bone meal. What's happening over there? It's a birch forest, I guess. I mean, who likes birch anyway? So, yeah, you add bone meal, makes it look a lot nicer. Um, this is default terrain. As I type in default, you can get some stone. There's many things that you can do to improve this area. So, you, you dealt with your tight spot area. Now what you need to do is improve on everything else. Now this doesn't go with our topic in building 101, but it definitely goes into just building in general. So when it comes to bone mealing, put some different types of flowers in these dandelions, fixing the little mistakes like like this wood piece that we talked uh, talked about there, maybe adding some variation, some grass on the side of the house, all that kind of stuff comes into play and it makes for a great looking house. And the other half of the house is not finished. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, but I, but I do like this house. It looks nice. It's, you know, the house that I would do all the time. And you could do this with oak wood, uh, even birch, but that might happen. So, yeah, uh, that's this house. I showed you some great examples, and we're going to do one more thing. Build it live. It's not a whole lot, but uh, what I did here in this area, which is an area that people don't really want to build in, the extreme hills. When they recently updated this in 1.7 with all the new biomes, oh, I'm just moving my mic, sorry if made a noise um they they added stone patches here nice big stone patches yeah that's what a mountain looks like but it looks pretty ugly than what it did before so if you decide i mean it doesn't look ugly and you know just people people really don't build here anymore so uh what you can do to spice this area up which will create tight spaces like right here and here and even uh you know down here and stuff like that I'll show you how to dress that up, but just to dress up this whole area in general, you can add some spikes here and there, you can add stone structures, and that's what we're going to do today. So let's get started on this area. Now if you guys know my channel, know me in, in the game Minecraft, I like, to a lot, I like to do a lot of broken stuff and uh, ruin type builds and stuff like that. That's where I sort of excel at, but I could do other things too, but right now we're going to work on you know some some stone structures around here so let's say this is the this is the entrance area right here there are a few things you can do one you can have a nice pathway through here gravel and a site stone cobblestone and uh, even stone bricks too because you're gonna have stuff here but uh, let's let's save that for this area or actually yeah let's save it for this area let's go over here I like this one better um, get your stone bricks out and you could just make silly little uh, archways not really silly but you can do it so archways add some stone brick and it doesn't have to be perfect on both sides um, let's say it's like that you know it would continue over but you can't because well it's a, it's a ruin type area add some uh, some cracked stone brick even get rid of that put a stair um, right here you can even add chiseled if you wish um, but this is just a nice thing to do when you're running when you're running out of ideas on these kind of tight spaces so it could just be these archways here that are broken down and it'll fill up a nice chunk of a uh, chunk of space and save you a lot of time so just like that and you can add a pathway here which I will do right now even adding patches of grass can make this tight space look a lot more green so you can have your bone meal Put it there, make it taller, doesn't matter. And it gives a nice area, uh, a nice look to this area. Also, a very, uh, a very simple thing that people do all the time. You can add some coal uh, veins that here and there, some iron as well. And right here, I'm going to add a path here since you know I already did this here, which is a mixture of stone brick, cobblestone slabs as the pathway up, uh, gravel, and a site right there, and regular stone including some grass too. So I'm going to do that there and I'll be right back. And here is the final product. I had some random stone slab pillars just to give it a little bit of bright color. You can make them different sizes and actually I'm going to do that. Um, but it looks really nice. So you turned it in a dull uh, stone brick area on a not popular biome that people build in into a nice looking area. And you can continue this very easily throughout this whole whole biome right here this whole stone area fill it up and it'll look amazing and it won't take you that much time at all 
So that's going to be it for this video. There are many other tight spaces and stuff like that, but I don't have many examples that I've already built to show you. But I can definitely build them on hand and, you know, on memory from, you know, just thinking up stuff. But if you guys have any builds that you have, you want to send them in to me, maybe show you how to fix some tight spaces or add stuff to it, please tell me in the comments below, send me pictures, do whatever you have to do to get in contact with me, and uh, we can have some fun with Minecraft building. So yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed and you want to see more and maybe you have a topic for Building 101 that you want to see, put it down in the comments below. But as always, if you enjoyed the video, click that like button. It helps me out a ton. Subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below. And I'll see you guys next time.